Some creatives consider themselves to be triple threats, while others just like to focus on their area of expertise. Social media influencer Tumike Adeoye shows off her many sides as she delves into the world of brand influencing, motherhood, and acting. Being an influencer has its specs as Tomike has come to discover how closer it has brought her to everyday people. I get to meet too many people and they say, oh, it feels like I know you so well. Like, <laughs> and I mean, that was the whole idea from the get-go. And the truth was, I didn't even set out to be a brand influencer. The fact that my, con my audience can actually relate to me is because of how authentic my content is. So like, my style of influencing is the very organic style and it's very subtle. And I feel like as a result of that, my audience can relate to it. It's not like... It's not all about the money and also because I carried uh, my audience along with my life stories and I've seen testimonies spring forth from just sharing my stories so that kind of thing I mean you would see me and feel like you know me because I relate to you like we're friends and I don't even call my audience fan so like calling them family members alone is enough to make them feel like they can relate to me Aside from wearing multiple hats in the industry, Tomike also wears the hat of motherhood. I'm very young. I think I got married at 24. I'm like, as much as I'm now a mother, I'm going to be a mother. I don't want everybody to see me. And the first thing is, ah, Tomike, the mother. Because suddenly, you, you, they want to call you for some reason. Ah, she wish she has children. She wish she... So I, I worked so hard, physically, mentally, to just break that... Um, that um, norm of, oh, she's now a mom, we can't call her for this job. Because there's something about motherhood. If you're not careful, you start feeling old. Like, it's not even about, you see women just like this. It's not because they want to be like that. It's what motherhood does to you. And it's a battle that you actually have to fight if you truly want to break free from it. You have children, yes, but do your job. That's, that's how it's always been for me. So I will not be the type that you call and I'll be making excuses. I've never really done like a proper meet and greet for my brand. So um, I just decided that, and this also came off um, conversations with my cousin in Yolua. And it's like, ah, you have to have a part to you. I just thought through and decided to come up with the Owambe thing because Owambe is always, is always lit, it's always fun. And because we are noisemakers in our family, I'm like, this is our news, our news to make noise. And so it was supposed, it's supposed to be like our own version of meet and greet, but we are very extra. So we would not just do the regular come, snap picture and go. Like I wanted them to have a swell time. I wanted food to be in abundance, drinks. Somebody posted and said she ate 11 times. And hearing it sounds outrageous but like she came with evidence like plate after plate after plate and I was very happy when I saw that because at the end of the day that's the only way I really give back to them and say oh thank you for being a part of this community. Mm -hmm.